I was from Western Kentucky, and I went to school at Murray State, and no one in my family had ever gone to college before. So I just signed up for college and started a major in biology, which was my interest because I liked animals and snakes and butterflies and so forth. So while I was taking biology during my second year, the professor began to ask all the biology majors if they were going to major in pre-med and go on to medical school. I hadn't thought about that, but when they mentioned it, I said, everybody else is doing it, so I'll do it too, and I went to apply to medical schools. I was originally going into psychiatry because I read Freud and I loved it. And while I was in getting ready to start my training in psychiatry at the University of Michigan, I went and did my internship in Denver, Colorado, and I loved to ski, so I started to ski, and I decided to go into a psychiatry there in Denver. So I changed my psychiatry residency to Denver, Colorado General Hospital, and I was all ready to start when I got drafted into the United States military, and I decided that I was going to stay in Denver if I could, but I would go do my duty in the military first. So I was drafted, went to Vietnam, and spent a year in Vietnam. While I was there, we were getting small arms fire and harassment from the Viet Cong and the North Vietnamese uh, almost every night, and I wound up staying up many nights all night long, sitting in a sandbag bunker with a Southern Baptist chaplain. And all we did was talk about our futures, and I decided that I did not want to go into any specialty where you have to stay up all night. And I said, gosh, I think ophthalmology must be a nice specialty because they don't stay up all night. So I went into it, began to apply, and applied to several places, including Will's Eye. Will's Eye was very attractive. I came to Philadelphia for the first time, uh, had a brief interview, and surprisingly got accepted. Today, I would not have been accepted into uh, a Will's program because my grades weren't good enough. But at that time, they were drafting all the residents out of the military and sending them to Vietnam and other places. And they thought, well, this guy's got his military out of the way. He won't be drafted. Even though he's got lousy grades, let's take him. So I got accepted to Wills and wound up doing a residency there for four years. Well, I was asked to give a, do a retina fellowship at Wills uh, before going back to my planned practice in Colorado and not do any academic work. But I got stimulated by the people on the retina service, and they stimulated me to uh, start doing ultrasounds and other diagnostic testing for retina, and I gradually expanded it into eye tumors. I've been at Wills since uh, 1967, when I was a resident, and became a retina fellow in 1974 and then traveled to Brazil and everywhere else, still planning to go back to ophthalmology in, in uh, Denver, Colorado. But I was uh, called by Dr. Ansley on the retina service that, why don't you come back and spend some more time on the retina service and not go to Colorado? And with little reluctance, I said, I'll go back to Wills for another six or eight months and then go to Colorado. But I liked it so much in Wills and they gave me opportunity to do a lot of diagnostic testing and we started to see a very few patients with eye tumors that didn't always come to Wills before that. And as we began to see eye tumor patients and to teach and write about that and to lecture more, the practice began to expand into almost only tumors. During the time that I was building the uh, ocular oncology service, along came uh, Carol Alley. <laughs> who I was delighted to meet and get to know, and she and I fell in love and decided to work together on the oncology service, much to my delight. And she came on and had me continue to do the work in ocular oncology, 
and certainly I would have probably dropped out 15 or 20 years ago if it had not been for her stimulation and keeping me going. And now we have many fellows who've trained with us from all over the world, over a hundred fellows in different countries, and they're carrying the banner of Will's Eye Hospital, and they're training here. And we're very pleased to see all of these things develop like they did.